Captain Bly. I served under him two years ago. The mutiny aboard the parchment, it was brutal. Very few of us involved lived to tell of it. All mouths talked as one of the affair. I had a friend, Parker. He was the first to catch wind of those dreadful mutineers' plans. Arka heard things. He listened and caught the tail end of some of their foul sentences. One of the morbid congregation saw that they were no longer in privacy. Arka ran. Arka rushed to tell the captain, but too late. Oh, too late. They came to us. They took poor Arka and they cut him. They cut him to pieces, bit by bit. Never before or since have I heard such screams. He blacked out at points, a few gracious moments where conscious thought lay abandoned to him. He was little more than a hairless belly, back and ahead, by the time our merciful Lord saw fit to grant him sleep. Fifteen years old. A leave of absence. That's all the famous Benjamin Bly was forced to endure. His ways, his brutality, the spark that lit the kindle for the dread of a mutiny. And he is slapped on the wrist and told to stay at home. The lightness of my purse forces my hand in accepting this position. And now that Captain Benjamin Bly returns to active duty, only that merciless god in the clouds knows what unhappy horror lies in wait for us. The crew of the H.M.S. Parchment.